Sometimes a person kills another person while suffering from an extreme emotional disturbance, yet their mental condition doesn't rise to the level of insanity. Does the extreme emotional disturbance nevertheless provide a basis for reducing the severity of the crime and the corresponding punishment? The New York Court of Appeals addressed this issue in People v. Casasa. Victor Casasa became obsessed with Victoria Loconsolo, who lived in his apartment complex. They initially dated casually, but Loconsolo eventually told Casasa that she didn't love him, which devastated him. After her rejection, he eavesdropped on her conversations with other men from the apartment next door to hers, which only further agitated him. Armed with a knife, he later broke into her apartment when she was gone and lay nude in her bed. Finally, he appeared at her door one day bearing gifts, which she rejected. Casasa responded by stabbing her in the neck and then dragging her body to her bathtub where he submerged her underwater to make sure she was dead. During their investigation of her murder, police officers questioned Casasa, who eventually confessed. A state grand jury indicted him for second-degree murder. Casasa waived a jury and had a bench trial. The defense didn't dispute the facts of the murder, but introduced psychiatric testimony in support of the affirmative defense of extreme emotional disturbance, which, if proved by a defendant, would reduce the offense to manslaughter. The defense psychiatrist opined that Casasa suffered from an extreme emotional disturbance at the time that he killed Loconsolo, but a prosecution psychiatrist disagreed. The trial court ruled that Casasa had offered insufficient evidence that he had suffered from an extreme emotional disturbance because his actions weren't reasonable according to an objective standard. The court convicted him of second-degree murder. Casasa appealed to the appellate division of the New York Supreme Court, which affirmed his conviction. Casasa further appealed to the New York Court of Appeals, the state's highest court. 